Hello everyone, welcome to Cambrian YouTube channel, your only ultimate destination for learning chemistry. And today we will be looking at how to use the SL sheet to convert absorbance into concentration and also how to plot your calibration line, okay, or your curve. Okay, so for this demonstration, I've assumed some values of absorbance at a corresponding time, okay? Now to plot, we need to select an empty space of the SL sheet, then we move to the insert tab. We go to charts, then let's pick the scatter, okay? Now click on the plot area, then click on select data. Go to add, then now you see the series name. So we select absorbance one. What will be our S value? So our S value is the concentration. Then our Y value is this one. Then we press okay. Now to quickly display the equation of a line, we can assess it by going to the quick layout. Then we select the function layout nine. Then we have our equation of a line with our R square value. Let me increase the font size to make it more visible. Okay. Okay, so let's do same for absorbance too. You select an empty workspace, then you move to insert, you go to your chart, you select scatter. You click on the plot area, then you click select data, you move to add, now the series name is absorbance two and your S values is concentration and our Y values is absorbance two. Then you click okay, you click okay, okay? Now to display the equation of a line, we go to the quick layout, we go to the function, then our function is well displayed. Let me increase the font size for this one to 15 as well. Okay. So now we have our absorbance and our absorbance one and our absorbance two. So let's now try to convert our absorbance into concentration, okay? Okay. So now to do so, let us create a new SL name as a new name as concentration one. Let me copy and paste. Then concentration two, okay? We have concentration one and concentration two. And since we want to create the system, we want to make the system a function, you begin with an equal to sign. Then you bring your open black bracket. Then now you select absorbance one, okay? So you move to your equation of a line for absorbance one. Then with the equation of a line, we are trying to make S the subject, okay? So we have absorbance one minus 0 0.0413. You close your bracket divided by the slope, which is 0 0.195. Then you click or you press enter. So you will see 9.45, which is a concentration around 10 ppm. However, our main target was to prepare a concentration of 20 ppm. So because of our dilution we did, we need to multiply by a factor of what? By two, okay? Then we click on enter. The next thing is autofill. Once we see this sign, we can autofill. Okay, so let's do same for concentration too. So you bring your open bracket, you select absorbance minus, okay. So our intercept for absorbance two is negative. So once it crosses the equal sign becomes positive. So we have 0 0.0075. Then we divide by zero point, which is the slope 193, okay. Now we multiply this value by a factor of two. So we get our concentration two. Then we autofill for this part as well. Okay, now let's find the average concentration. 
So average concentration. So the average concentration will bring our function equal to, then now we type for average and we will see the average function. So you select the average function. Now you just click and drag for on the two concentrations to press enter. Then now you autofill, okay? You autofill. Great, great, great. Okay, so now let's, let us now assume that we were studying the absorption capacity of our material. We want to see the strength of our material and how best our material is able to adhere to a particular pollutant, okay? So now we want to study it per time, the adsorption capacity with time, okay? So QT. Now to study the adsorption capacity of the material, we focus on the concentration differences, then the mass of adsorbent that we used, and also the volume of solution, the total volume of pollutant solution we prepared, okay? So we bring our function equal to, we open brackets, then we select this will become our C naught, that is the initial concentration, minus the concentration as a certain time. So now this concentration is at T zero, okay? So we select CT, we bring open bracket, we divide by the mass of adsorbent or the mass of catalyst we used. So let's assume the mass of adsorbent or catalyst to be 0 0.03 gram, okay? Now what we need to do is we multiply by the total volume of solution that we treated. So let's assume the total volume of solution to be 0 0.05 liters, okay? Now in SL sheet, if we press enter and autofill, we are going to see that the initial concentration C, C naught will be changing. So in order to prevent that from happening, we need to keep those values fixed or constant. Therefore, we have to introduce the dollar sign. We introduce the dollar sign around the alphabet, not the number, okay? So we want to keep the initial concentration phase because it runs through all. We also want to keep the initial mass of adsorbent that we use phased. So we introduce our dollar sign. Then we also want to keep the total volume of pollutant solution we have prepared, we used, okay? We also keep that one phased. So we bring our dollar sign. Then we press enter, okay? So now what we need to do is to autofill. Now we have our concentration with time. Now what we can also do again is to calculate the removal rate. How much percentage has been was removed at maybe uh, two hours time, at three hours time. We want to know the percentage of pollutant that was removed, okay? So you can also study the removal. Let's see how to get the removal rate or the removal. Let me bring removal percentage, okay? Great. So now you bring your function, which is the equal to sign. You press open bracket. Then now the initial concentration will not be of the average, will not be the average concentration, but will be the exact initial concentration we prepared, which is the 20 ppm, okay? So let's, let's put here 20, then minus, what do you call? Minus now the concentration at a certain time. So at zero, concentration at T zero, we have, 19.03 and coins. You bring your open black bracket, then you divide by the actual initial, initial concentration we want to prepare, which is the 20. Then you multiply by 100%. Okay, then you press enter. Since I'm using the value 20, 
then we do not need to bring any dollar sign, okay? So what we need to do is we need to autofill. And once we autofill, we have this. So it means our percentage removal is 92.8, which is approximately 93%. Please, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting content. Thank you all for watching and see you again. Bye.